Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I'm going to show you my solution to the Haneyama cast cylinder. This puzzle is designed by the famous Finnish puzzle designer Fesser Timonen, who also designed the loop, the slider, and UFO to name a few. The difficulty level of this puzzle is 4 stars out of a maximum of 6 stars, so it is pretty challenging. Moreover, all the mechanism is hidden from sight, so it adds another layer of complication. The theme for this puzzle is a lock, which makes a lot of sense. I will try to upload one puzzle solution video every Wednesday. If you want to see how different puzzles are solved, please click the subscribe button now. And it will mean a lot to me. Thank you. Okay, so at first there are no facial clues whatsoever, but with some observation whilst turning the rings, you will feel that there will be some slight resistance. Let me show you. So this time I'm going to turn this bottom ring gradually. It doesn't matter which way, given they are basically the same rings. And when I turn the ring, holding the top ring stay steady and turning the bottom ring, you can see that the three pieces in the middle will move a little bit. When you achieve that, like so, you know that the bottom ring is now aligned. Now flip the whole puzzle over and now gradually turn the other ring which now is located at the bottom. Again, moving slowly and gradually and at one point you will see that one of the pieces will drop down one step like so. Once one of the pieces has dropped down, now you can try to push it up and see if it goes through one step. If it doesn't match the grooves, these grooves here, the notches, turn the bottom wheel one step and match the second notch like so. If it doesn't push through, move the second, move to the other notch. And it's by, just basically by trial and error, but now I'm lucky and I got it to the desired position after two moves. And now after we've found the correct position for the rings, make sure you keep the two rings relative position unchanged. And now we have to find the middle piece, which is the one that we want. To see which one we want, you can see that this piece here, both sides look the same with a big hole in the middle so this is not what we want and we have to turn the whole center piece by a third of a circle so you can note where the lines are uh, pointing at which notch here as you can see now when we move it here this piece is again the same on both sides so this is not the one that we want either now we turn the puzzle again for a third of the circle and this should be the piece that we want. As you can see, this side has a groove on it. Let me zoom in a little bit. It has a groove on it here and the other side is basically the same as the other two. Once you have found this piece with the groove side, we will drop the grooved side down one step and now holding the two rings together as one piece, turn the whole center piece by maybe holding the, the dropped piece like so, which will make it easy to turn. And again, gradually turn and turn and turn until the second piece drop by one step like so. Once we have achieved this position, it's relatively easy hold the top ring and then just turn the bottom ring gradually and the second piece should drop through like so and it will drop to the second layer so now you can see that the top layer the second layer and the third layer and we continue to turn the bottom ring and that piece will drop out now with two pieces inside it's quite easy to drop the second piece out and you can actually see the mechanism or what is holding the pieces together and you can align the gap in the inside of the ring and you can take up all the middle pieces and you have
solved the first part of the puzzle. Now we'll quickly go through the anatomy of how the puzzle works. So these two rings are basically identical. They have a an ledge here with a third of the circle being uh, missing. So it's the gap where the pieces will drop through. And when they're aligned, the whole puzzle can drop through. For the three middle pieces, as mentioned, two of them are the identical. So there are two holes on both sides. These two are the same. And the last piece has a groove on the other end. So that is the odd one out. And to put it back together again, first we'll take the two pieces and with the ed inside edges facing each other in the middle, like so, and align the grooves, like so. Then we'll place one of the identical middle pieces inside. For this one, it should be relatively easy given there are no pieces to stop us from putting one in. So either one of the identical pieces, we'll just put it in and at the top layer. So this doesn't drop. Now align this piece so the gap in the middle is available for the second grooved piece to go in, like so. And there should be no problems moving this piece in. And you can see the mechanism clearly. Now we can turn this grooved piece to allow the last piece to go in, like so. Now, you know, we can see that the two inner ledges are still available for this piece to go in at the bottom. And just carefully, we have to align the rings to, and the pieces so the last piece has enough space to move in. And this last piece should be half covered by the first piece like this. So this is the last piece, half covered by the top piece. And now we have to turn the first two pieces round. A little bit of struggle is quite slippery, but you can turn it like so, and you can move the second piece up to the top layer. Now it's rather easy to move the last piece up, but in this video I fumbled a bit. I should be turning the bottom ring instead of the top ring, but it's okay. Uh, after a while, I managed to put the last piece into the desired reset position. And that's how you solve the puzzle from the start to finish. Hopefully this video helped anyone who is having trouble finding a systematic solution to this tricky little puzzle. I know I did at the start, but with my solution now, I can actually solve it systematically without any problems. This is a 4 star puzzle and I think it's more closer to the 5 star range, but it's still very tricky. But it's good fun and with a lot of fidgeting and replay value. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped, please click the subscribe button now and the bell icon to get notified for my next videos. Let me know if this helped you or if you want more clarifications, just put your comments below. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.